Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, um, the good news first, and you guys keep getting this card. Somebody has secret plans to pro to uh, propose marriage, okay? Um, yeah, they're, whomever this is, is in deep contemplation, deep thought of how they can do this, how it can be very special, what they can do. This is also could be renewing of vows here, okay? So you definitely have someone who is um, thinking about, should they do it at church? Um, they could be abstaining from you or trying to take time from you because they're trying to plan in secret here all right um yeah with uh luck is on your side um scorpio count your blessings count your lucky stars um make sure you write down your blessings also some things are going well for you um start a journal of gratitude um it's a good time for you to start a course or study or teach something and don't be narrow-minded. It's a time for you to laugh more, you know, put more uh, time into just having fun, being uh, lucky, be more adventurous, uh, willing to take some risk even, um, exploring life, um, exchanging big ideas also. You could also take a trip, okay? And it could be around maybe your birthday time, um, Scorpio, um, or around the the new moon in Sagittarius. Uh, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, what we have here is your life is going to look completely different, uh, completely different a year from now. Um, there's going to be some peaceful resolution here uh, to maybe you proposing marriage or someone proposing marriage to you. You move it in with someone. Um, there's a big fat no on the cards. Okay. And this might be uh, from another energy here because um, we have somebody who uh, could be in need of money. Okay, this could be a wanderer. They're not serious about anything. They could be a house hopper, a hobosexual. They could be definitely um, homeless and in need. Okay, uh, their health is on the decline, whether it's yeah, their financial health, physical. This is a person who's just not in, in the best place. Therefore, they're not showing up in the best energy because they're saying things like, I made you fall in love with me just, you know, because it was fun. You know, sorry. Um, this is someone who um, they're in survival mode because a soldier is about survival. He's about, you know, um, seeing the mission through. Uh, completing, completing, uh, completing the task, seeing the mission through. He's in complete survival mode, um, and this is a person who will do verbal battle with you about their position, and they're dedicated to no one but themselves. Okay, and they could also just be out to get money, resources from whomever. Um, they're closed off to love. Okay, this is not falling in love with this person is the wrong thing to do and they're not going to fall in love with anybody not in that energy because they're not their heart chakra is probably closed anyhow um you could think that this person is absolutely nuts you know um the way they try to rationalize things or rationalize away things um is absolutely um out of this world we have the older man and maybe the younger woman. This older man will um, propose to this younger woman. Um, he sees her as somebody that he can, you know, kind of uh, steer, mold in the, the way that he wants her to be molded. She is just for him. Uh, they're looking at each other. So this is very good. It's unlikely that you're going to allow someone to come back. The answer is no. Um, you're ready to embark on something new because the energy that um 
you were dealing with was one of falseness. They told lies. They were just altogether corrupt, reprobate, reprobate, just not a good person. Um, they had just been taken over and given to evil or just bad things. They're just not in a really good energy. They have nothing to give you. Um, they could be homeless and in need, or if they're not homeless, um, they are, they lack empathy, apathy, they lack awareness, they lack uh, the opportunity to bond, uh, pair a bond. This is somebody who's just not in a good place to where love is not on the cards. It can't be on the cards until this person goes and does some like spiritual work here, okay? Um, yeah, they need to go and do spiritual work. Love is not there. Um, this is what I have for you, uh, Scorpio. Also, you can take advantage of this uh, spell, divining decisions. Some of you, uh, you know, um, you have decisions. You don't know which way to go. Um, a lot of witches carry a pendulum um, to help them make decisions. You could make your own or you can actually go buy one um you could actually bless your uh pendulum on the new moon um and also say this simple prayer okay um know that when you are using the pendulum um if the pendulum sways from back uh from front to back, that means yes. And then from left to right means no, okay? And we have that actual no card. So something is a no here. And it's like you, it's a yes or no answer here. You need to know what the answer is. So uh, this will be on the community tab for you to take advantage of if you want to uh, take advantage of this here, of this spell here. Um, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. It looks really good. You do have an energy that's just not, this is not high vi high vibrational at all. They're in very transactional type survival mode. They're not about making anything thrive and grow and cultivate. They're just in to get what it is they can get from a particular person, place, or thing, okay? They can have someone in deep thought about how they can uh, be more committed to you um, and how they can ground the relationship and maybe even propose to you, okay? Um, that's what we have here for you, Scorpio. All right, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me for a personal reading. You can go over to the website and book there. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings.